I just wanted to make this video about the Honda 1983 Honda Shadow VT750 ignition system. Uh, I'm trying. I'm restoring the bike, and I'm trying to figure out the ignition system so I can customize it and I have to keep it. So I kind of had to figure out how to power it. And there's no videos on YouTube, so I'm doing this for you guys. And so, as we turn to the Book of Honda, in section uh, 19, it shows your ignition system. And it all starts with your pulse generators, which are over here. Uh, on this side, no, yeah, over here. So the bolt that you crank to turn your crankshaft over when you're doing your valves and your timing and everything. That's just, it has a little brick thing that goes around these uh, pulsators and that when it goes around it makes a uh, magnetic pulse and so that magnetic pulse goes through these wires into these four contact points and then those four contact points are right here. And so, number one, there's two of them. So one goes to the to the wires, go to here, and then two of the other wires go to number two. And the spark, these are spark units, which are these things. Um, and then you can see they have the corresponding uh, wire colors. But they go to there, and then to get the power to this uh, spark units, we will turn to the back of the book of Honda to this disgusting wiring diagram. And it all starts, so there's the pulse generator. Uh, when you turn the key, this thing, uh, it's got the on. All you need to worry about is on. I don't know what P or lock means. Someone could tell me that would be fantastic. But it gives, when you turn on the ignition, it gives power to the ignition to the battery. So this battery is connected right to uh, one of your big fuses, the main fuse. And so that gives power to the black wire and that eventually turns into a black and white wire which there's a black and white and there's a black and white and those are your two spark units. And so as we turn back here so here's your battery. That's your ignition switch. Don't worry about the run or off on. That's just, you don't need that. Unless you're doing a factory and return it to factory settings, but I don't that doesn't really apply to me. So this is for the people who like set up as like toggle switch or if you're getting like an aftermarket um, key ignition. Uh, all it does is get, it completes the circuit and gives power. This little uh, hop thing that just shows that it's going over the wire. It doesn't mean it, it's just for. Uh, illustration purposes. When you see this, that means it's actually tapped into the wire. So as you can see, the battery wire comes here. This spark unit is tapped into it, which is the black and white wire right here and right there. So the black and white gives power to the two spark units. And so, as you can see here, this wire runs up, goes over here, and it's connected to this one. So they're both powered by this, which is tapped into the larger uh, main power source and then also they're also both grounded together so they just come in and ground which is the green wire there's a green there's a green runs up here that one runs up there and it eventually goes ground to the frame which goes back to the battery um, after that then you have one wire uh, in the in the number one you have a yellow wire going up and then one of the out of the ignition coils is another wire going up. And this goes to your tachometer, which is right. That's your temperature unit, so it's the unit right there. It says unit. That yellow wire, if you follow it all the way back, it goes from here up and taps into there and it goes back. So the yellow wire is your tachometer. So if you're doing an aftermarket uh, like tach meter or digital gauge you just take that yellow wire which is this one this will go to your ignition coils and so this will go it would fall back um, to your motherboard 
your factory motherboard. Um, but I'm getting a, a M unit blue, and so I don't really need to worry about that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. This just has the wires going to the spark, to the ignition coils, and then obviously they go to the spark plugs. But all you really need to do is worry about this side. I mean, everybody knows that these are just spark plug wires or cables, whatever you want to call them. But um, there is on the number two, there's a blue uh, Honda. Was like, oh, we're, they're Americans. We can just put L for blue. They'll figure it out. I don't know why they just put B U or B L U or whatever, but they put L for blue. Follow. You can just run a wire straight from your battery, or in this case, M unit, which is um, it has a separate block, and so when you give power to the whole thing, and you push your button, it gives power to the whole ignition system. But that's tapped in your battery. But if you did it the other way, you just run a wire to your battery. Okay, put a toggle switch in it, and then run it to both of the spark units, and tap it into one, so they both have power, and then just ground them with the green wire, and then follow the corresponding ones to your ignition coils. And you can kind of just do trial and error and figure it out with the the wiring diagram. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope this helped. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this or what I'm doing right now, uh, just let me know. I'm kind of debating whether to film all this stuff. Um, if you guys have any specific questions, just contact me. I did rebuild the whole engine, uh, except for the transmission. I repainted and everything, so if you have any questions about that, um, just hit me up in the comments, I guess. Uh, I repainted the tanks, fenders, shocks, working on the frame, obviously. Um, but yeah, if you guys want me to film this stuff, just let me know. But thanks for watching.